Hi, I'm Omar Epps, and I play Dr. Eric Foreman on Fox's House. And I'm Amber Camlin, and I play Martha and Matthew. And we're here to answer the questions you've submitted for the show. What did you think when the House project was initially sent to you seven years ago? First time I read the script, I thought it was phenomenal, actually. And I was psyched about, you know, it all coming together, me being a part of it, and uh, the rest is history, as I say. Amber, how did you feel when you got this role? I felt very humbled because uh, David Shore, who created the show, um, actually came to me and said, I want to write a role for you. That's a violin. He was just like, you're so incredible. You're like better than Omar. <laughs> I'm like, sorry. It seems that House has been able to break every single team member except for do you think he will ever succeed? I'm not going to answer you because then David Shore will see this and be like, oh, really? And, <laughs> no. Um, I, no, I think, I think, honestly, I feel like House has had the same effect on every character. Everyone has just, you know, internalized it and different. Is it as difficult to work with Dr. House as it looks? If you're asking about Hugh Laurie, then no. He has got the most beautiful baby blue eyes you have ever seen. Sometimes I get lost in it. Do you ever analyze Foreman as a real person? And if you do, do you ever get angry at him for his arrogance? When you're building a character, you have to justify, ideally, every moment and breath of life that they take. So naturally, there, there are things in Foreman that are totally against my natural personality. So I do get angry with him. Not so much for his arrogance, for the decisions that he makes sometimes. I don't. I don't know if Foreman is really arrogant versus just super confident and competitive. Do you think that the show has jumped the shark with the House and Cuddy relationship? No. I mean, I, and from friends of mine who were fans of the show, you know, when they got together was one of the most exciting seasons for them because they felt like something had come to fruition. You could have done something in the third season that involved, like, Foreman gets into gardening and like, oh, jump the shark. Right. The shark. <laughs> you know, it's impossible to say what that is or isn't. The House and Cuddy relationship has evolved, I think. For all intents and purposes, it's a fictional circumstance, but it has evolved in an organic way. For me, it just makes sense now. Thank you for watching Fans Ask House. And remember to watch House Monday nights at 8 p.m. on Fox.